Hey, it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Tuesday, August 27th. So we have the moon in Gemini energy again here all day. Of course, we just had this last quarter moon pop off in the Gemini energy here yesterday, which is a turning point, a pivot point, if you will, of now processing, analyzing who and what needs to stay and needs to go. We are going to be in elimination and releasing energies from now until the new moon in Virgo, which of course is popping off on the 2nd of September. So with the moon in Gemini energy, again, we're still rapidly processing information, we're analyzing, we're reframing, restructuring our thoughts, our ideas, our emotions. We definitely have a lot of pressure in the head. Go ahead, take a listen to the Ascension forecast for this week to understand where all of these energies are manifesting. We are definitely feeling the head pressure. Well, again, and the moon is in this Gemini energy, adding to the head pressure, adding to the confusion, adding to the analyzing and restructuring of our mind. We have Mercury in his final days of being retrograde. And of course, around the days that we have planets stationing direct, there is going to be more confusion, more craziness, more chaos, especially in our thoughts and in our ideas, in our emotions than any other kind of day. So we have this, let's call it urgency, this impulse, if you will, to really decide to choose to start kind of moving in a new path, in a new direction. I am going to say we're going to be back and forth, teeter totter all day. This is going to kind of continue into the end of the week. So whatever decisions, whatever choices, whatever kind of options that you've been debating between that you feel an urgency to actually choose and decide and just, you know, finalize, you may want to take a step back from that. You may want to release that pressure, that urgency, because I don't know that we're going to feel confident enough to actually arrive at something that our heart and head actually agrees upon, not for a couple more days. But with that being said, there are 11 different aspects popping off here today. We have 10 of them involving the moon. So we are going to kick the day off with a little bit of a change of heart, a change of mind, because the moon in Gemini is going to be making a very awkward interaction with Pluto, the great transformer who was retrograde in Aquarius energy. So again, this is air on air action. We have the mutable Gemini energy wanting to force change, wanting for some adjustments, for some decisions, for some choices, while the Aquarius energy that Pluto is retrograde in has us focused on the future. We have to have a vague idea of a new goal, new target, new vision, new dream in order for us to break it up into small manageable pieces that we actually have power and control over in this present moment in the here and now. Pluto intensifies things, thus the intensity of wanting to decide, wanting to commit, wanting to choose, wanting to make a decision. We are going to be teeter-tottered again with this energy, with Gemini energy, we always are on the fence, always teeter-tottering back and forth between the pros and cons. This is definitely going to allow us to really kind of examine our not so nice, not so supportive not so positive narrative and actually flip the script into something a little bit more positive, a little bit more in control of what it is that now we want to start to pursue. We have Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in Virgo energy, again, helping us to kind of analyze the finer details, the finer, let's call it nitty gritties of our wants, needs, and desires. Venus is going to be trining beautiful interaction with Uranus, the great awakener who is in Taurus energy. So this gives us earth on earth action. The Virgo energy that Venus is in is a mutable earth energy, which means that we're making some changes, we're making some adjustments, we are restructuring our worth, our values, our wants, our needs, our desires. The fixed earth energy that Uranus is in is very stabilizing. We want to stay in the present moment and really examine the areas of life that we could do better in, make some improvements in, make some adjustments in, in order to provide us with a little bit more safety, security, and stability, more certainty than anything else. Uranus, of course, is the great awakener. He gives us a huge bolt of electricity to shift our perspective downloading us with aha moments, light bulb moments going off as well. 
This is definitely going to stir some feelings and I'm going to give just a little bit of time to break this energy down. First of all, we have to expect the unexpected when Mr. Uranus is in play. And because this is with Venus, we have to expect some unexpected feelings rising to the surface. Maybe we're having a major change of heart. Maybe something bad that we weren't feeling so good about starts feeling a little bit better. Or maybe we just have some really weird attractions taking over. Maybe we are now pivoting and having some weird ideas, thinking outside of the box of what it is that we could do different that would bring an element of happiness, of joy, of pleasure back onto the scene. Either way, there's going to be a jolt of lightning, a jolt of insight, if you will, that's going to help us reveal our wants, needs, and desires. This is going to be an interesting energy because Venus and Taurus energy, they both want intimacy. They won't both want connection. They both want attachment, while the Virgo energy and the Iranian energy would prefer independence, would prefer a little bit of freedom, a little bit of isolation. So we're definitely going to be in experimenting mode. Again, fine tuning how we're thinking, fine tuning our emotions, what it is that we're being drawn to. And again, because this is a flip floppy cha 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 teeter totter day, we will be going back and forth in order to find that sweet spot. The moon in Gemini energy going to get into the boxing ring square off with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, ruling over roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, foundations. Of course, he's retrograde in Pisces energy. Now, normally, Gemini energy and Pisces energy work very well together to kind of give us a new idea, a new creative solution to some long-term standing problems. However, this is a square. So we're getting into the boxing ring, and what we're essentially fighting with is the logical, practical side of our intellect, thinking that we should be focused on one area of life when the Pisces energy that Saturn is retrograde in wants us to be kind of focused on another, using our emotions, our intuition to kind of guide us on that particular path in that particular direction. A square is illuminating where it is that there's a power struggle, where it is that there's a growing pain. And emotionally speaking, we need to wrap our head around certain concepts, certain ideas, certain circumstances and situations before we can, A, again, remove the aspects and elements that are no longer supporting us, no longer making us happy, and then B, start building better boundaries, better foundation, better structure on something that is going to be supportive in our new goals, new visions, new dreams. The moon in Gemini then going to come up to bump into team up with Jupiter. Jupiter being the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings. He's been in this Gemini really pushing the boundaries of our mental plane, of our thoughts, of our inner dialogue, of our narrative, and of the options and opportunities that we actually have to grow, to heal, to move on towards something new. Now, a conjunction is just as much of an ending as it is a beginning. And lucky for us, where Jupiter is concerned, we're putting some confusion behind us. We're putting, let's call it, some resistance to the changes of growth, of healing, of repairment behind us. And essentially what we are beginning is this new optimistic narrative, this new positive mindset, this new, let's call it shiny perspective. And this is definitely going to help empower us, make us feel a little bit more in control over our heart and over our head. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with the north node in Aries energy, which is highly suggestive that whatever just popped off, whatever insight we just had, whatever light bulb moment we just had is definitely helping us piece together some options to take some steps, to take some moves into a new path, into a new direction. The moon is then going to sextile, beautiful interaction with Mercury. Mercury, of course, rules over the Gemini energy that the moon is in and Mercury being the ruler of the mental plane who is currently retrograde, last day of being retrograde in the heart and soul of the Zodiac and Leo energy. This is an opportunity for us to get our heart and head on the same page, meaning we have this new passion, this new desire, this new want, new need to make a change, to do something different, to build something new, to pursue something new. And for the first time in a long time, although it may not stick around for very long, we actually have the vision, 
the perspective, the inner dialogue, the inner narrative to actually support this pull in a new path, in a new direction. So this is working very well together. Let me also just say that communication can flow very well as well. So whether that means that we are just kind of able to understand what's going on within us, it could stop there. We're able to articulate new goals, new ideas, new wants, new needs, new desires. So if you're in a situation where you're talking about these certain aspects, that is going to flow much more easily. But also just keep in the back of your mind, there is a jitteriness. There is an anxiousness. There is an uncertainty that we are fighting against as Mercury finishes off his retrograde and kind of prepares himself to start coming out of his unconscious slumber and start waking up to move forward. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with the sun. So the sun, of course, is in Virgo energy. The moon in Gemini, the sun in Virgo, what do they have in common? They're both ruled over by Mercury. So again, anytime that the moon and the sun are coming together for any kind of interaction, we're going to have a new level of awareness of what we want, what we need, what we desire, what we have to do, what we have to pursue. This is a beautiful energy because again, emotionally, the moon in Gemini, we do have a certain alignment between our heart and our head and the sun shining a bright light in this Virgo energy is again, analyzing where it is that we have room in our physical realm to make some changes, to make some adjustments, to actually improve our overall physicality in our well, not only in our physical realms, but in our bodies. Again, Virgo energy, it's all about health and wellness. It's all about providing ourselves with the time, the energy, the effort that we would so easily give to other people because we have to be operating from a full cup before we go ahead and start pouring into others. And so the sun shining a bright light on our physical realms. And again, the moon in Gemini energy, we are really focused in on what needs to be done on where there's areas for improvement, where it is that there's a better narrative, a better perspective emerging on the topics and themes in our physical realm that have gotten a little bit crazy as of late and needs a new structure a new foundation, a new order. The moon will then sextile Chiron, the wounded healer, who is retrograde in Aries energy. A sextile is a beautiful interaction. So we are starting to see this new version of self as a healed version of self. We're giving ourselves a little bit of a pat on the back, if you will. We're open to kind of seeing ourselves from a positive narrative, a positive perspective. We are definitely encouraging ourselves to continue the energies and efforts that we have been putting into healing certain aspects of self. And overall, we're just really becoming a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more familiar with the new ways of operating, the new ways of just observing the world around us observing the issues, the areas within ourselves that do need a little bit more, let's call it healing energies applied to it. But overall, we're not defeated. We're not challenged. We're actually feeling good about ourselves, about what we've been doing, what we are doing, and what we now want to continue to do. The moon is then going to make a very positive interaction with Pluto. So we started the day off with an awkward interaction. Now we're getting into a gentle nudge in the right direction. The moon and Pluto coming together is definitely going to intensify our emotions, intensify our thoughts, but we are getting very, very mechanical, very calculated, if you will, with what we have to do from here, what we have to do to make some changes, what we have to do to make some improvements, what we have to do to keep this positive mindset, this positive narrative, this positive emotional disposition, keep it strong, keep it highly charged in order for us to, again, prepare to initiate a brand new chapter. Let me also just say that Pluto is here to empower us. And most times we do have to kind of lose ourselves in a funk in order to be down in that funky darkness in order to build ourselves back up. However, there is some positive energies really pushing us to not have to go that far in the funk anymore. Because again, we're kind of in analytical mode, which means that we're observing ourselves, our inner realm, our outer realm from a different perspective, allowing us to kind of see where it is that we are rewriting the program. We are flipping the script. 
This is definitely going to, again, intensify the new wants, needs, and desires that we now want to take action upon and actually pursue. And this is just going to keep us highly charged in a more optimistic and positive mindset to do all of the things. The moon is going to come up to bump into team up with Mars. Mars, of course, the god of war ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passions, our desires, even our anger. This is a conjunction, which means that, again, there is an ending just as much as there is a beginning. And what we're doing is we're feeding the fire. We're cultivating new inspirations, new excitements. We're stirring our inner realm where curiosity is concerned, where our impulse is concerned. There is a magnification, if you will, on new wants, needs, and desires. We want to get out in the world. We want to connect to the world around us, to the people around us. We want to do that because there is this, let's call it epiphany that we're arriving at, that sometimes curiosity needs to be had where we have to push ourselves out into foreign territory to allow the universe to give us the light bulb moments that we're not going to get if we stick to the same environment, we stick to the same old, same old. So this is almost like our curiosity is motivating us to do something different, to put ourselves out there in a different way. We're building, again, cultivating the fire, the spark, the flame within in order for us to be well prepared to back the actions needed with some serious muscle. We, again, with Mars in this Gemini energy, this is about an aggressive plan, an aggressive strategy coming together so that we have a well-executed plan that we can start taking action upon in order to progress in a new path, in a new direction towards new ideas. So we're going to feel a new sense of passion, of excitement, of inspirations. We're kind of, again, tapping into a restlessness, if you will. We want to take action. We want to make moves. But again, with Mercury kind of on the fence, coming out of his unconscious slumber and preparing to go direct. Nothing is sure. Nothing is certain. Nothing is stable. We're definitely feeling that instability. And just as we gain a little bit of clarity, we could have a wave of confusion come in and totally wipe out our focus, totally wipe out our excitement, totally wipe out the, let's call it fire that we are building within. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in Gemini energy making a very positive interaction with Uranus, the Great Awakener in Taurus energy. So this tells me that we are starting to really arrive at where we need to kind of take a well calculated risk by breaking away from the same old, same old. And even if it is a small, small baby step, that still counts. Emotionally speaking, we are being downloaded with a new idea, a new mood, a new attitude to build ourselves up, to make a major pivot in a new path, in a new direction. <laughs> 